move on now to the other top stories we are talking this morning as far as the pfi is concerned this is the next big story because there are now rising demands to ban the said in for the said organization with the enforcement directorate that has attached at least 33 banned accounts of the pfi and a linked organization called rehab india foundation as part of the anti money laundering investigation that has been launched against them the accounts hold more than 68 lakh rupees that is being said the orders have now been issued under the prevention of money laundering act thereafter to take action against this said organization now even with the reactions that are coming in from uh, chief minister of assam himanta biswa sarma that this uh, organization the pfi should rather be banned the crackdown on radicals and especially extremist groups like the pfi should be taken right from the guru khuti we always see pfi's hand in the communal tension even in the latest botodroba incident when the botodroba ps was burned down we are now picking up signals of involvement of pfi so assam government is of the view that pfi and campus front of india should be banned if you go to the district of baksa the kind of training program the kind of literature they are uh, distributing there it itself goes to show that they wants to uh, destabilize assam uh, like anything and they are doing it openly so assam government as chief minister i have made union home minister many times and i have requested that pfi and cfi should be banned Going across to Bhavtosh now for a quick update. Uh, Bhavtosh, the ED has alleged that huge amount of cash from questionable sources were received by the PFI and the RIF. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, that's the charge that has been levelled by the Enforcement Directorate, and they have said that after carrying out due diligence, only then they have uh, attached assets uh, which are in form of uh, bank deposits of PFI and also that of. Uh, Rehab India Foundation. Remember, uh, Rehab India Foundation is a sister concern of PFI, and we are waiting for a formal statement from PFI. In fact, the uh, ED investigation revealed that around 60 crore rupees of bank deposits have been uh, there uh, of PFI, and also 58 crore rupees are there in the bank deposits of uh, Rehab India Foundation. But uh, what is most shocking, uh, if you believe in uh, the allegations of uh, ED, is that uh, most of the uh, deposits in the accounts of PFI and that of Rehab India Foundation are in terms of uh, cash deposits, and they have said that uh, these deposits have been made from uh, Middle East, and uh, these deposits were then transferred to accounts of individuals. And uh, vice versa, this has happened, and they have said that uh, money has been routed from abroad and. Uh, He was has then been gone into bank accounts of individuals. Now All they right. have said that this is a case of uh, round tripping. All right. So the ED has already filed two charge sheets in the case against office bearers and members of the PFI, along with Campus Front of India, before the special PMLA court in Lucknow. That is another aspect to it. Meanwhile, the demand to ban the organisation has also been growing. Bhavtosh, thanks very much for joining us here on the broadcast.